Over the past few seasons, we've seen the Fargo Moorhead Red Hawks rise to the top of the American Association, winning their first league title last season. But now it's time for an even bigger stage as the association gets ready for a first of its kind event on the international stage. The defending American Association champions will be heading down to Mexico to compete in the Baseball Champions League. This brand new event will see the most recent champions from four professional baseball leagues competing. The Red Hawks will be representing the American Association and will play opponents from the Mexican Baseball League, the Colombian Professional Baseball League, and the Cuban National Series. The tournament will start on September 28th with round robin play in Mexico. League Commissioner Joshua Schaub talked about this game changing tournament. And we take this event very seriously from a competitive perspective. And although we have become great friends with Horatio, LMB, and the other participants, we find this to be hopefully one of the most competitive baseball events the history of, in the history of the game. We are very proud, the American Association being the only MLB partner league that is invited to this event. Um, it's one of our finest moments, moments, one that can only be surpassed by watching this tournament grow through the years. But before they can get ready for September, the Red Hawks have one more series before the All-Star break. They'll be looking to halt a five-game losing skid in the process. The streak started in a tough series against the top team in the East, the Milwaukee Milkmen. The Red Hawks winning the first game before M Milwaukee bested them in the next two contests, including a 15-1 win in the finale. After that, it was an even tougher test, dropping three games in a row to the Kansas City Monarchs. Kansas City coming into and leaving Newman Outdoor Field with the best record in the league. The Hawks now have a little bit of a hole to climb out of in the division standings. Good news, they're still second place in the West Division, 27 and 23 overall. Bad news, they're now six games behind the Monarchs uh, out of first place. They'll climb back to the top starting tomorrow when they start their series in Nebraska against they're Lincoln. They're still above water. But exactly. And now they're only know. half a game in front of like three other teams. Mm. It's, it's interesting. They need to get things yeah. going again.